Well, thanks for staying with us today. Veterinarian David Graff joins us today to take your pet health questions. And you have a friend who all of a sudden I has, do. She was totally chill just a minute ago, yeah. and now she's like, oh my gosh, I'm on TV. Camera's I can't right. handle it. Uh, this is this? Alaska. She's from the Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. She's a nine week old mixed breed. Probably, they say, a husky mix. Yeah. Right? Well, judging by those paws, yeah. she's probably going to be a yeah. decent sized yeah. dog. So um, she's available for adoption. Yeah. Um, we do have a caller on the line. Go ahead. Um, Carrie is on the phone with a question about um, an older dog. Go ahead, Carrie. Yeah, I've got a dog that's about nine years old. He's a larger dog, about 100 pounds, and he does go in for a walk real well, but towards the end of the day, his joints seem to get really sore. He has a little problem going up and down the yes, stairs, and yes. just wondering if there's some medication or some vitamins or something that might help him with that. Well, there, there's medication that can help. As the joints age, it's a, a natural process for them to degenerate, and the joint fluid becomes less uh, plentiful, and and it's very common for older dogs to suffer from Much like humans have the same problem. Exactly right. yeah. and, and as a long-term um, preventive, you can use chondritin sulfate and glucosamine, which you can get from your veterinarian in, um, in good form. Okay. You can also buy that at, at drugstores, but it, the, uh, the quality of that's called into question. Okay. And then there's anti-inflammatories that you can use that, that are for the pain and the inflammation. Okay. And there's, there's injectables, there's oral tablets, and there's oral liquid too. So there are a number so, of ways to tackle that kind of, of problem. So yeah, your, your dog does not have to suffer from, okay. from joint pain. It is something that your veterinarian can help you with. Now, if you don't want to go the medication route, um, what kinds of can you do physical therapy um, on animals like that? Uh, physical therapy is done after, after surgery, after injuries. Um, um, for a degenerative condition like that, though, uh, keeping the muscle strength up with uh, walking and, and exercise is good. Good idea. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, we have just a little less than a minute, but I know okay. one thing that you wanted to mention okay. that you've seen a lot of fleas yeah, this we're time seeing, of year. It got cold, and we're seeing more fleas. Uh, <laughs> she hello. doesn't like fleas, um, apparently. <laughs> well, oh, sweet. Everybody um, thinks about fleas, but the, the most important time to be aware of the presence of fleas is when it starts to get cold. Uh, fleas are always looking for a warm body to hop on. Mm -hmm. And so if you're using the monthly flea prevention, Prevented. Don't forget to keep using it. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep using it until the until we have a good amount of snow. Okay, so let's say you find them on your dog. They come in the house. Yep. They're in the house. What yep. do you do? Yeah. Well, you need to be putting topical uh, or oral once a month flea control. Okay. And and after a few months they'll go away. And if, or if you've got a bad case, you may need help okay. treating your house. Okay. Outside help needed. Yeah. All right. Well, Dr. Graff, thanks for joining us today in Alaska. You're <laughs> you're done, sweetheart. She's available at Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control, and she would make a great little pup to someone's home. All right. Coming up tomorrow, our financial expert join us with tips on uh, how parents can help teach their kids how to manage money. Another check of your forecast with Chris coming up next. Stay with us.